Kola and I'm from Pakistan. I'm doing my Master's in Peace, Mediation and Conflict Research from the Obo Academy, Vasa. I'm from Poland. Uh, I've been studying in industrial management. That was mainly my field. I'm Vida. I'm studying master's degree teaching and learning in Obo Academy. Uh, my name is Sayyid Amadul Haq and I'm a doctor researcher in the management department of University of Vasa. This is Asim. I'm from Pakistan. Uh, I'm a student of peace mediation and conflict research. And the main idea was to get international exposure. The classroom is not your only exposure. So you go out, you do groceries, you have to deal with hundreds of people every day. So in that case, yes, you have you get exposed to a lot of international people here. I came here for, for a doctoral program in technical sciences. I would love to combine these two words because I always admire the lecturers that could combine this theory with practice. For me, it was more about migration and not studying abroad. I think England is really supportive of immigrants. So actually, like, for instance, they have changed the law since last year and there's like they're giving benefits to the spouses, students. And I, I came to Finland with a, with a goal of doing a PhD. They're still, they're still in the progress, but uh, yeah, I think I'm on the right path, which I decided for my own self, which is doing PhD. Finland was one of the uh, countries who was offering master's program in peace and conflict. Sacrificed just uh, more than four years for, for the doctoral studies, uh, and now uh, the employers from the, from the private sector they don't see it as a as a professional uh, experience. So I'd rather stick to the academic career for now and then see uh, what about the opportunities. The overall education system is, uh, is quite uh, innovative, transparent. Uh, Finnish language, I, I think that uh, that is some barrier. That's one reason they leave the country. They think that we don't have enough friends in Finland. And one other reason is that they don't find jobs, which is for me, actually, I got lucky because I have some kind of temporary job, at least in a company. You could say Bartzella, yeah. When I reached here, I had to face a lot of like psychological challenges. Like I, I couldn't initially interact with people because I had a sort of social anxiety. Gradually, I think I'm, I'm, I'm coming more in terms with how to work with my own psychology and obviously Finland's weather plays a huge role in it. I think it's too early to say if I am I have been able to fulfill it, but coming to study abroad was one of the dreams that I have been able to achieve. I think it depends on everyone's circumstances, but what I would recommend for everyone is that try to know as many people as you can and try to really be helpful and kind to all the people around you. If you have any opportunities to help people, just do that. And like in European countries as well, the language is the biggest skill. If you give yourself this, this time span of completing your dream. Start uh, by doing some exchange and not uh, jump into the deep water. When you talk to people from different nationalities, that helps you a lot. You know, understand and integrate into this um, into this uh, into Finnish culture, for example. And you also get to play different sports because you get to know different sports: ice hockey, skiing, this and that, snowboarding. So, I think uh, this is a good way to integrate them. I have, if you have a command in uh, their their languages, like for example Finnish or Swedish then uh, the, the, the pathway will be easy for you.